how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be telling you what I use for my Stamina Nightblade build. I know it's been a while since I've done a build video, but uh, I wanted to wait until I had a build that I was uh, pretty happy with, that I wanted to uh, share with you guys with confidence. And uh, I think I finally figured out that build. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because I don't want to waste your time. But uh, first I go over gear. I use 5 Hunting's Rage. Um, I have my uh, 2H as the greatsword. And um, my recommend recommendation to you is to have a great sword and a maul on you at all times. Uh, the reason being, uh, if I'm doing open world, I will do a great sword. If I'm doing battlegrounds, by default, I usually have a maul. Um, and that's usually because um, what's really, uh, I guess, say the stronger build right now is kind of like the, uh, the heavy armor builds and such, and battlegrounds at least. So that's why I will usually go into a BG match with a mall equipped. But if there's a lot of um, media, if there's a lot of magic users or a lot of uh, medium armor users, then um, a great sword be more inadequate. Actually, it's preferred if you're fighting uh, magic users because of damage shields. Um, but it's good to have one of each in your inventory just so you can uh, adjust for this circumstance. Uh, for my bow, I use the master's bow, and I use that with the defending trait. Um, for my uh, for my two-hander, regardless of, regardless of it's the maul or the greatsword, I always do nerd honed. Uh, enchant is going to be the weapon damage glyph, and the reason being is because you can kind of you can control when that procs now with a light, light or heavy attack. So what I'll do is for engaging, I will use poison jack to my opponent in order to proc the master spell, and then I will do a light attack to surprise attack to proc my weapon damage, and then into incap. And then, um, yeah, the Empire Spectre Bow ready after that. So, that's the reason why I have the traits and the enchants the way I do. Alright, so I use the two piece of um, Balorg, or Balor, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, all in pen. Um, I use only, I think, two pieces with tri stat glyphs. Um, I pretty much sustain just fine. My health pool seems to be pretty adequate, which is only those two with tri-stats, so I recommend just going max stand for everything else. For the traits, you want nothing but impenetrable. Uh, the other five piece that I use is going to be bone part. And then for the jewelry, um, if it's gold, go infuse. If it's purple, go robust. Alright, and let's see. So, as far as what skills I use, um, this is kind of like my solo play um, loadout. So for my 2H, I have Surprise Attack, Mass Hysteria, Realize Focus, Ambush, Rally, and Incap. For my <clears throat> front bow bar, I have Poison Injection, Shadow Image, uh, Leeching Strikes, Mirage, Resolve Vigor, and Temporal Guard. Um, I don't play with Cloak. Um, if you want to play with Cloak, that's your discretion, but it's not my playstyle. So that's why I use the abilities that I do use. Um, if it's a 1v1, 1v2, um, you should be able to beat them if you're, uh, co if you're you know, a competent enough player and if they're incompetent enough for you to um, overcome them. But if you're outnumbered, um, I would say 3+, plus. I mean, you could probably even kill 3 people solo, depending on their skill. But um, that's when you want to utilize um, Line of Sight, and that's where Shade comes in. So Shade is definitely a pre-planned move. You don't want to use it reactionary uh, as a reactionary move. You want to use that with enough foresight. So if you're outnumbered, what you want to do is you want to find a spot that you can line a sight, put shade, put shade down, and then take off in order to get away from that spot. Uh, if you can, try to take out at least one of them. If you're unable to, if you get overwhelmed, just zip right back and recover. So if you want to use cloak, that's your discretion. I prefer to use the shadow image. Now, when it comes to this ultimate, this ultimate I actually rarely use actively. Um, I will use it if I get bursted really hard, and I'm like at the execute range, and I'll I have this ult enough ult in order to use this ultimate, and that can be like a uh, kind of like a, a last second save because it just reverts you back to with your uh, what your stats were four seconds ago. Um, but you, but typically, I actually use this because of the uh, the passive minor protection you get on it, which is why my bow bar is also um, with the defending trait. Because while I'm on this bar, um, I'm pretty much buffing and uh, 
pre-debuffing my opponent, getting ready to uh, hop in there and burst him down. And this is also where my vigor is, so I don't want to be getting hit too hard as I'm getting ready to um, jump in there. And if I'm also on the defense, you know, using vigor, doing dodge roll, etc., um, I want to be as tanky as possible. And that's why I have um, a Defendi Bow with the Temporal Guard as my, uh, as my ultimate back there. Now, if you're playing group play, my recommendation to you is use Soul Siphon. Um, this will save your rear, but also this will help keep your entire team alive as well. It's an incredibly powerful ultimate. And if you're doing open world as well, if you're in a seat, if you're um, sieging a, a keep or whatever, um, you see your guys going down, uh, use his ultimate. Um, I've been part of a siege where my, like everyone I was with was about to die. And I used his ultimate, everyone immediately got brought, brought back up to full, and we took over the keep. It's an incredibly powerful ultimate. Huge radius. Um, let's see, bolstering darkness. This is not one you want to have unlocked. Um, if I'm doing BGs, and I'm doing, um, say, Domination, or um, Crazy King, essentially any any kind of match type where you're, we get to hold your ground in a certain location, I use this ultimate. Um, pretty much gives everyone major protection for I think what 16 seconds yeah and you don't have to stay in, you don't even have to stay in it um, you just walk through it once and you get the buff it's great all right so as far as what Mundus stone I use I use the warrior I figure it's the best one when it comes to both your damage and healing and let's see let's go with CP I'll start with the blue tree, that's what everyone likes. Um, I just have 7 bless, not a huge amount. Uh, 2 for physical weapon, 37 to shattering blows, um, 81 for master at arms, uh, 48 to 4 for sight strikes, 29 piercing, 56 mighty. Uh, for red, uh, we have 72 in ironclad, 48 into resistance, uh, 66 for thick skin, 37 hardy, 37 elemental defender, for green, I have 51 into Warlord, uh, 75 Mooncalf, uh, 68 for Befal, 66 Tumbling, and that should do it. Um, I'll show you my stats in case you guys were curious about that. Uh, let's see. I'll just proc that. And this is what you're looking at here. So around 4,089. Um, that's with the only one piece of um, Valoric active. Um, if you want to see the enchant with that, it's going to look like this, 45, uh, 48. And like I said, um, you want to do a light attack before you start bursting. Um, so pre-game, so to speak, uh, or pre-debuff with the Master's Bow. And then before you do your burst, light attack, and then you do your burst. Now, I like Valoric because... Um, Pretty much, it makes it so end cap is never wasted, ever. See, before Belorg, I would get frustrated <clears throat> if I couldn't use my ultimate um, for whatever reason, and it just keeps building up and building up. Like, see, I was like 223. I would have gotten frustrated last update because I'm like, man, I could use my ultimate three times by now. Uh, but now it's actually um, it pays it pays off, you know, to have that patience or that bad luck, so to speak. And another thing it allows you to do as well, is it allows you to um, adjust for who you're fighting. So if you're fighting a really tanky build, then uh, my recommendation to you is don't end cap them right away. You know, just drag on the fight for a bit, build up your ult, and that way whenever you do burst them, you have a lot more firepower um, behind you. So that's why I really like this ultimate, but not ultimate, but this uh, two piece. But to um, see what your stats are going to look like when you have, say, 273 ultimate. Let me just do this. And voila. 5293. And your surprise attack is over 13k. So, not too shabby. Uh, when it comes to your crit chance, let me get a crit rating here. Alright, so you're looking at 57.6%. Uh, as you can tell, my crit resistance is 3,009. Um, when it comes to spell and physical, let me just activate that. You're looking at 21.6. Uh, when it comes to my race, I'm a Nord, so that's going to give me some extra um, mitigation. 
if you're wondering if you don't want to be in Nord, you want to be a different race, it's fine. Um, race is influential, but it's not game breaking. If you want to be a wood elf, you can get more sustain, more power to you. Um, if you want to be a, an orc, which is a great choice, I mean, you'll have um, better damage output and a little better mobility, but uh, you won't be able to take hits as hard as you would as a Nord. Um, if you want to be Khajiit, you get more crit uh, chance, which can help your survivability because of crit heals, and it'll help your damage output because, yeah, crit damage. Um, Argonian is probably the best overall PvP race as a whole, just because you're not going to be defiled via disease damage, nor um, poisoned. Um, when, it come, when I say poison, I mean this poison status effect uh, via poison damage. Um, it also makes it so you have great sustain. Uh, without having to do anything for it, just by the use of a potion. And you also have great healing with 5% healing received and um, healing done. So, I mean, you can pretty much make any race work. I just prefer the Nord. I just find it to be tankier. It's kind of like your heavy armor, but you're not. But anyways, guys, um, I hope I covered everything. If you got any additional questions, please, you know, comment below, ask, and I'll do my best to get back to you. You guys have a great day. Take care.